is that firefighters sometimes have miscommunications and like communicating because there was an incident where 19 firefighters died because they had miscommunication and they got surrounded by the fire. And so um, we have we did Ocala National Forest and there's a lot of fires there. Um, we also kind of we also kind of thought about how firefighters can die of non-fire related stuff like heart attacks and just from like the super stress levels and all that kind of stuff. So um, we learned that 47.4% of firefighters die of heart attacks. Okay, because of this problem, we researched firefighters and wildfires and how firefighters fight them. We did two interviews, one with Captain Summer, a firefighter, and he told us many problems that they had and how we could make a solution about it. Well, we found a solution. And um, we also had one with Mr. Rhodes, who's a CTO of Kinetic North America, and he told us about electronics and what's out there in the world already. So we have bits and pieces of electronics. Um, there has been helmets being tested um, to have aug augmented reality, which is like holographic images to direct you, and you are you can easily see through the smoke, easily. Um, here's some relations: um, Iron Man and Halo. And from this research, we bundled everything into a, a basically a smart suit which is made out of smart fabric, monitor vital signs like heart rate, blood pressure. <clears throat> we use, um, we call it mesh networking. So if one person d goes down, the whole system doesn't crash. And the central server would be the mobile community, which would be the fire truck. And we use augmented reality, like in video games, if you've ever played them, to help like to see each other. Um, we decided to take a break from our invention and clean up some community service. What we did was we helped keep Dolora beautiful and cleaned up that little part right there. And we pulled weeds, replaced the mulch, and cleaned up unwanted trash around the area and put them into garbage bags and then put them into wheelbarrows and into garbage bins. We had also gone to the open practice um, where we had practiced the skit and um, practiced our robot. But also we had learned from other high school teams, other teams that we could be competing against today in fact, and also some vendors that were around there and we had a lot of fun doing it. Thank you. 